hello guys welcome to my channel this is chief vlog and entertainment please if you are new to this channel kindly click the red subscribe button so that you get updated anytime i drop a video today i'm going to be talking about a very popular incident that happened in nandamawa state last week and this incident have been going about the news the internet no popular individual have come like when I mean popular, I mean senators, governors have come to debunk this or consolidate with the family. Only can chairman and some prospective persons in the society who are not politicians have come outside to talk about this incident. Now, what really happened was that uh, unknown government who were suspected to be kidnappers invaded the home of this pastor who has three children and one wife. So the moment they invaded that um, that his house, they took about 30 minutes. It was like a 30 minutes wait. So the, at that moment, they shot the son, uh, the two sons of the pastor, who are aged 19 and 23. On the process of that, when they were dragging everything, they shot the pastor on the leg, while they took away the daughter of the pastor. The mother, out of shock of what happened, she slumped. She was in coma for like two days before she was revived. This is not a, this is not a small this is not a small issue that someone is just overlook. But guess what? Our government is going to overlook it because right now Baria himself have not even condemned such. It's not a big deal to him. Even when the Kuje prison happened, that one is a more big deal than this. You know. Things that happen in Nigeria requires us as Nigerians to look at our surroundings. Are we doing the right thing? Are we voting the right candidate? Please, please, let's not put ourselves in this kind of trouble soon. This thing that I'm talking about, any kidnapper can go to any country, I'm uh, sorry, any, any state in Nigeria and cause mayhem and go free because our security is no longer tight. Imagine kidnappers coming to Adama that, that have been declared a little bit free after Boko Haram attack in 2015 and 14. Now see what is happening. They killed the two sons. But uh, news reaching me observed that the daughter of the pastor had been released. So they paid some huge amount of money before they released the daughter. But what baffled me and not that it baffled me, I was surprised about what happened. The mother of the two sons that were killed came out and buried them. When she was buried them, she said she has forgiven those kidnappers, which is a very good news in terms of Christianity. It's a good news to forgive because if you not forgive, you are not going to make heaven. That's a hard tax, but she forgave those kidnappers. And she has a good soul may god bless her but the thing is that it's not everybody that can forgive you because the bible self said suffer not for the wish to live anybody that can kill you is a witch no more she must be a wizard like a good juju it's no more to anybody that can kill you is a witch suffer not for the wish to live i just pray that this family take heart and go away because it's a very big thing. It can happen to anybody. Anybody that happened to cannot be telling me he's going to be smiling and be happy. It's not an easy, it's not, it's not easy. To the family, I pray God grant them uh, 42 to bear the loss. And God will be with this woman and the uh, pastor. God will be with him. Please guys, you can watch the video, but if you are outside, if you can hear outside, you understand what she said. After watching the video, please try and subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate if you do such. Thank you very much. Amen. 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 Amen.